Hi guys! Today we're going to learn type and functions of plant cells. Let's learn! What is the purpose of leaf? Are leaves just a decoration on tree? The main function of leaf is to produce food. Produce food for the plant by photosynthesis. This is cross-section of a leaf. Alright guys, now we enlarge the cross-sectional of the leaf. Let's watch and learn the cell of the leaf. The top layer is cuti cuti cuticle. Cuticle have waxy surface and it hydrophobic. The second layer is upper epidermis. Upper epidermis is allowed like in and prevent water loss. Third layer, guys, is palisade cell. Palisade cell is main sign of photosynthesis because it's full of chloroplast. Chloroplast absorb light to perform photosynthesis. The fourth layer, guys, is spongy, spongy mesophyll. Meso is middle, fill is leaf in Greek. Spongy mesophyll has some chloroplasts, but not as much as palisade cell. Spongy mesophyll cells are irregular in shape. It also performs photosynthesis, but not as much as palisade cell. There is airspace between the spongy mesophyll. Usually, the airspace contains water vapor, oxygen gas, and carbon dioxide. Look, what is this empty section? That is vascular bundle. It contains xylem tube and phloem tube. We call it stem leaf. But actually, it is a vascular bundle. Look guys, look! The xylem tube is larger, larger than phloem tube. After photosynthesis, phloem will bring glucose from the leaf to all of the plant. Xylem bring the water from root to the leaf in order to nourish the leaf. Phloem acts like a sushi conveyor belt. It carry food. Did you know guys, glucose carried by phloem will store as a starch. Example, our rice. Xylem acts like a water pipe that brings water to your house. Xylem brings water from root to the leaves. Now, I'm going to introduce the bottom layer, bottom layer of the leaf. Two of this layer is pretty similar. They are lower epidermis and guti cuticles. At the very bottom of the leaf, we're going to introduce you gut cell, gut cell. Look guys, look! The small openings that permit gas exchange is stomach. Remember guys, the gut cell control the opening and closing. Opening and closing of the stomach as necessary. Stomach is a tiny hole. Tiny hole that permit in and out. In and out of oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Remember guys, plural for stomate is stomata, stomata. Be careful young lady with the heel. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's take a look at the opening and closing of stomata by gut cell. Come on, come on, look guys, look. Open, 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 close. Open, 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 close. When the stomata open, stomata usually open during the day to carry out photosynthesis. When the stomata is closed, stomata is closed at night. Night. Stomata also closed under hot and dry condition. 
when water loss due to evaporation is high. Stomata must close to prevent dehydration. How to prepare stomata slide for microscopic study? First, nail polish painted on the back of the leaf. Wait until the nail polish dry and tap it. Open the tap and place the specimen on the slide. Then observe it under microscope. Tada! See how beautiful it is. The root hair cells contain cell wall, vacuole, and nucleus. Plant root have a lot of root hair. This will increase the surface area, so it can absorb more water and nutrient from soil. Guys, look! This is actual cross-section leaf under microscope. Thank you for learning. Complete the Google form in description below to enhance your understanding. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.